fine. In 1955, Nicholas Ray directed Rebel Without a Cause, a groundbreaking film starring James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Sal Mineo. This movie brilliantly captured the essence of teenage angst, rebellion, defiance, and an intense search for identity during that period. Its release sent shockwaves through conservative 1950s America, mirroring the cultural upheaval caused by rock and roll pioneer Elvis Presley. Over time, however, the production gained a dark reputation due to a series of tragedies involving key figures, including each of the main actors meeting untimely deaths. As we delve into our inaugural episode of Real Nightmares, we explore the chilling hypothesis that Rebel Without a Cause fell victim to a curse bestowed upon it by a mysterious Mexican ghost. Could this tragic pattern suggest something sinister surrounding this cinematic masterpiece? Let's investigate further. Jim! Jim! The phrase rebel without a cause has become deeply ingrained in popular culture, symbolizing a sense of purposelessness that emerged in the aftermath of World War II. This sentiment found its way onto the silver screen in the 1955 film of the same name which initially received mixed reviews, but has since garnered immense admiration. A key factor, contributing to its legendary status, is the unfortunate death of lead actor James Dean prior to the film's release. Set against the backdrop of suburban America, Rebel Without a Cause delves into the lives of three restless teenagers, grappling with their identities amidst societal expectations. As they navigate high school hierarchies, family dynamics, and personal struggles, these young individuals confront issues related to rebellion, angst, and responsibility. Directed by Nicholas Ray, the movie offers a poignant exploration of adolescent disillusionment during the mid-1950s. Despite receiving tepid reactions when it first hit theaters, Rebel Without a Cause gradually captured audiences' hearts due, partly to James Dean's untimely demise. His portrayal of Jim Stark resonated profoundly with viewers, leaving behind an indelible mark despite his short career. In fact, just days before the film's premiere, Dean lost his life in a car crash, further fueling public fascination with both the actor and the character he played. Over time, the movie became more than just a story. It evolved into a cultural touchstone representing youthful defiance and the quest for meaning in a rapidly changing society. Its impact transcended generations, inspiring numerous adaptations and homages across various media platforms. Today, Rebel Without a Cause stands as a testament to the power of cinema in capturing and shaping our collective consciousness. It's warm. In the process of casting for Rebel Without a Cause, director Nicholas Ray decided to conduct the auditions in a more relaxed setting a bungalow at the Chateau Marmont. Among the many hopeful actors was Natalie Wood, a seasoned child actress who had started her career at the tender age of four. Eager to break away from her wholesome image and prove herself as a serious actor, Wood set her sights on the lead female role. One day, while en route to the audition, Wood was involved in a minor car accident. Determined not to let this setback deter her, she quickly made her way to the bungalow where Ray was conducting interviews. Her tenacity, and commitment to the craft left a lasting impression on the director, who saw in Wood the perfect embodiment of the complex character he had envisioned. Thanks to her unwavering dedication, Wood secured the coveted role, marking a turning point in her career. This classic film would go on to become a cultural touchstone, resonating with audiences young and old for generations to come. And it all began with a car accident and a determined young woman named Natalie Wood. In 1950, two young men named James Dean and Nick Adams formed an unlikely friendship while working together on a soft drink advertisement. This bond quickly grew stronger, leading to frequent speculation regarding a potential romantic connection between them. Despite these whispers, their companionship persisted until Dean's untimely passing. Following his friend's tragic demise, Nick Adams found himself tasked with a solemn duty, dubbing James Dean's voice during post-production for the iconic film rebel without a cause. Due to some issues related to sound synchronization, Adam's contribution proved essential in completing this cinematic masterpiece that delves into the complexities of youth rebellion. As we journey through this classic, one cannot help but ponder over how profoundly the lives of these two individuals intertwine both personally and professionally. Even though their time together was cut short by fate's cruel hand, 
Their shared experiences live on through the enduring legacy of Rebel Without a Cause, immortalizing their unique camaraderie forevermore. Pick it up. Furthermore, on September 30, 1955, James Dean was driving his new Porsche Spider, named the Little Bastard, to a car rally. Despite warnings, Dean was excited about racing the car. He died instantly in a collision with another vehicle. The car itself was considered cursed. James died. I'll go find him. I'm sorry. As this car approaches us, the weather would... In Rebel Without a Cause, James Dean, the film's lead actor, drove a silver Porsche 550 Spider during shooting breaks. This car would later become infamous due to a series of tragic events that followed its acquisition by Dean. After the actor's untimely death in a car crash involving the vehicle just days before the movie's release, the car continued causing harm and chaos, leading many to believe it was cursed. Following the fatal collision, the wrecked Porsche was transported to a salvage yard. While awaiting repairs, the car somehow managed to roll off a tow platform, injuring a mechanic who had been working nearby. Soon afterward, the vehicle's engine found its way into another race car, which tragically resulted in yet another driver's death when his car crashed during a competition. Not content with merely causing accidents through mechanical means, the car seemed determined to wreak havoc even further. When some of its original tires were fitted onto other vehicles, they too became involved in serious accidents prompting speculation that something sinister surrounded the late actor's beloved sports car. As if all these incidents weren't enough, the mangled remains of the Porsche finally met their demise in an unexpected manner. While on public display at a custom car show in Sacramento, California, the vehicle suddenly broke apart, sending debris broke apart, flying everywhere. Although nobody was injured during this incident, it certainly added fuel to the fire regarding suspicions surrounding the so-called cursed nature of the automobile. To this day, Many people still wonder whether James Dean's ill-fated Porsche truly possessed malevolent powers, or if it was simply plagued by a string of bizarre coincidences. Regardless, one thing remains clear the car has left an indelible mark on cinematic history, forever linking itself to both the memory of its former owner and the iconic film he starred in. In 1955, a groundbreaking movie called Rebel Without a Cause hit the screens, leaving a lasting impression on its audience. One of the actors in this classic, Nick Adams, would meet a tragic end years after its release. On February 7, 1968, Nick failed to show up for a dinner appointment with his lawyer. This absence raised concerns, leading the lawyer to visit Nick's home. Upon arrival, he made a shocking discovery, Nick's lifeless body. The subsequent autopsy revealed that Nick had accidentally overdosed on prescription medication, but the mystery surrounding his death didn't end there. A month after Nick's passing, his lawyer was found dead under suspicious circumstances. The investigation into his murder remains unsolved, further clouding the narrative around Nick's own untimely demise. These events marked a sad ending for one of the promising young stars who contributed to the success of Rebel without a cause. Sal Minio, known for playing Plato in Rebel, without a cause, experienced ups and downs throughout his acting career. After gaining recognition for his performance alongside James Dean, Minio struggled to find consistent work during the late 1950s and early 1960s. However, he remained determined to make a comeback and had started rebuilding his career through theater. In fact, Minio had landed a lead role in a Broadway production before his life was tragically cut short. On February 12, 1976, while returning home after rehearsals, Minio was approached by a pizza deliveryman near his West Hollywood apartment complex. Instead of delivering food, the assailant attacked Minio, stabbing him multiple times during a botched robbery attempt. Although initially responsive, Minio succumbed to his injuries later that night. Minio's death shocked both fans and colleagues alike due to its violent nature and because it occurred outside his home seemingly safe surroundings where one would expect to feel secure. But what further complicated matters were rumors regarding possible motivations behind the attack. As an outwardly gay man who lived openly with his partner, questions surrounding whether homophobia may have contributed to Minio's murder began circulating among the public. While investigators maintained that the crime appeared motivated purely by financial gain, many still questioned if anti-gay sentiments could have played a part in the tragic incident. 
Despite these uncertainties, Minio continues to be remembered fondly for his contributions to cinema and stage performances. Despite facing adversity throughout his career, he never allowed obstacles to hinder his passion for acting. Today, he remains immortalized for his iconic portrayal of Plato in Rebel Without a Cause. <laughs> Natalie Wood, originally named Natasha Zakharenko, began her acting career as a child. She quickly gained success and became known for her work in both film and television. One notable role she played was in the 1955 movie Rebel Without a Cause, where she starred alongside James Dean. In this classic film, Wood portrayed Judy, a teenager struggling with identity and rebellion against societal expectations. Despite her early fame, Wood's life was marked by tragedy. Her mother, seeking guidance for her daughter's future, consulted a psychic who made two predictions. Firstly, that Wood would indeed become a huge star, which came true. However, the second prediction foreshadowed Wood's untimely death. According to the psychic, Wood would die tragically through drowning. Years later, on November 29, 1981, these ominous words proved prophetic when Wood passed away during a boating trip near Santa Catalina Island, California. Initially ruled an accidental drowning, questions surrounding her death remained unanswered until a reopening of investigations in 2011. This renewed interest brought attention back to Wood's mysterious demise, prompting further examination into the circumstances leading up to it. I love somebody. All the time I can. In the late 1950s, the cameras rolled in Griffith Park, Los Angeles, capturing scenes for a groundbreaking film called Rebel Without a Cause. This park, however, was already famous for more than just its Hollywood connections. Dating back to the 19th century, it has been associated with a peculiar curse that involves Don Antonio Feliz and his niece. After losing their estate through dubious means, the pair placed a haunting curse upon the land, claiming misfortune would plague all future inhabitants. As shooting began for this gripping drama, few connected the dark undertones of the storyline to those surrounding the location itself. Delving into themes of family, societal expectations, and angst experienced by aimless youngsters, the movie mirrored certain aspects of life imitated by art, perhaps unknowingly foreshadowing events yet to unfold. The narrative revolves around Jim Stark, portrayed by James Dean, whose character embodies teenage frustration while grappling with adult responsibilities. As he navigates high school hierarchies and familial tensions, disaster strikes when a seemingly innocent game goes horribly wrong, resulting in fatal consequences. Parallels can be drawn between these fictional accounts and real-life stories etched in the annals of Griffith Park's past. Following the production wrap of Rebel Without a Cause, several unfortunate incidents occurred among cast members, further fueling speculation about the so-called Griffith Park curse. Notably, Natalie Wood, who played Judy, drowned under mysterious circumstances during another shoot years later. Equally eerie, Sal Mineo, playing Plato, met an untimely death due to violent mugging near his home. Although decades had passed since the making of this classic film, these unsettling occurrences served as grim reminders of the alleged hex looming over the beloved La Parkland. Even though countless visitors frequent Griffith Park today, enjoying outdoor activities like hiking trails, picnicking spots, and stunning observatory views, whispers of the ominous legacy linger still. Whether one believes in supernatural forces or simply acknowledges the weight of coincidence, the undeniably tragic histories linked to both the movie and its chosen setting make for a chilling tale that lingers long after leaving the grounds. The Griffith Observatory, a prominent feature of the sprawling Griffith Park, has gained a reputation over the years for being haunted. This eerie atmosphere is said to be due to the presence of two spirits, Donna Petronia and the observatory's namesake, Griffith J. Griffith. But what does this have to do with the 1955 movie Rebel Without a Cause? As it turns out, quite a lot. The production of this classic film brought Hollywood stars like James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Sal Mineo to the Griffith Observatory for several key scenes. During their time there, strange occurrences were reported, leading some to believe that the actors may have disturbed the resident ghosts. Since then, rumors of paranormal activity have persisted, further fueling the idea that the observatory is indeed haunted. These haunting stories tie directly into the cursed narrative that surrounds Rebel without a cause. Shortly after its release, tragedy struck when James Dean was killed in a car accident. Not long afterward, 
both Natalie Wood and Sal Minio met untimely deaths under mysterious circumstances. These unfortunate events led many to speculate that the film had been cursed, with the supposed hauntings at the Griffith Observatory serving as evidence of this supernatural claim. While skeptics argue against these claims, others continue to visit the observatory hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive ghost said to roam its halls. Whether you believe in the curse or not, one thing remains clear, the connection between Rebel Without a Cause, the Griffith Observatory, and its alleged spectral inhabitants continues to fascinate audiences even today. Mom, I just once I want to do something right. And I don't want you to run away from Rebel Without a Cause, a groundbreaking film released in 1955, has left an indelible mark on cinematic history. This classic tale explores themes of rebellion, angst, and aimlessness experienced by teenagers during that era. However, what makes this movie even more intriguing is its dark past, entangled in a series of tragic events involving its young stars. Natalie Wood, James Dean, and Sal Mineo brought their respective roles to life with compelling authenticity, creating unforgettable characters still celebrated today. But behind the scenes, the production was plagued by eerie happenstances and untimely deaths which have contributed to persistent rumors surrounding a supposed curse attached to the film. James Dean, who played the brooding Jim Stark, died shortly before the release of Rebel Without a Cause. His promising career tragically ended when he lost control of his Porsche Spider while driving through California's countryside. Coincidentally, both Natalie Wood and Sal Mineo also suffered premature ends. Woods drowned under mysterious circumstances off Catalina Island in 1981, while Minio fell victim to a fatal stabbing outside his Los Angeles apartment just five. Years later, the enigmatic aura around these unfortunate incidents lends an almost surreal quality to watching Rebel without a cause. Despite being praised for its innovative approach towards exploring adolescent issues, it cannot escape its ominous reputation. Even now, viewers can't help but feel drawn into the tangled web woven between fact and fiction, tragedy and triumph, youthful exuberance and somber reflection. Delving further into the individual stories of Wood, Dean, Adams, and Minio promises captivating insights about their personal struggles and achievements beyond this iconic movie. Their legacies continue to resonate among fans and scholars alike, leaving us all wondering what might have been had fate not intervened so cruelly. As we step back in time to explore each actor's journey, let us remember them not merely as victims of circumstance, but as talented artists whose contributions transcended generations. We're thinking that this is so important. It's not as if... Rebel Without a Cause, released in 1955, is a classic film that continues to resonate today. This groundbreaking movie offered a fresh perspective on adolescent angst and rebellion, capturing the cultural zeitgeist of its time. Set against the backdrop of post-war America, the story follows three troubled teenagers grappling with their identities amid societal expectations. Exploring themes like delinquency, family dynamics, and generational conflict, the narrative sheds light on issues faced by youth during that period. The film marked a turning point in Hollywood, pushing boundaries through its raw portrayal of teenage turmoil while challenging traditional norms. Its influence extended beyond cinema, affecting fashion trends, and even inspiring music artists decades later. Featuring iconic performances from James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Sal Mineo, Rebel, without a cause left an indelible impact on both audiences and future filmmakers alike. Despite being over six decades old, this movie remains relevant and thought-provoking, serving as a testament to timeless stories capable of transcending generations. Buzz, one of those kids, he got in the other car and we had to drive fast and then jump see before the car. The creation of the 1955 film Rebel Without a Cause involved a fascinating casting process. Director Nicholas Ray sought actors who could genuinely portray troubled teenagers struggling with identity, pressure, and rebellion. James Dean, initially rejected due to his limited acting experience, eventually secured the lead role of Jim Stark through sheer persistence. His intense method acting style perfectly captured the character's inner turmoil. Regrettably, Dean passed away before the film's release, lending an eerie authenticity to his performance. Natalie Wood was cast as Judy after testing alongside various actresses vying for the part. Her natural charm and vulnerability won over both Ray and studio executives. At just 16 years old, Wood delivered a mature and compelling portrayal of a girl longing for love and security. Sal Minio, relatively unknown at the time, 
beat out hundreds of hopefuls to play Plato, the emotionally sensitive teenager drawn to Jim's rebellious spirit. During screen tests, Minio demonstrated remarkable emotional depth, ultimately securing him the role that would earn him an Academy Award nomination. The chemistry between Dean Wood and Minio played a significant factor in solidifying their roles. Their genuine connections on screen contributed significantly to the film's success, making it a poignant exploration of adolescent angst and disillusionment. Nicholas Ray, the director of Rebel Without a Cause, was known for his unique approach to filmmaking. He aimed to create a sense of realism by building close relationships with his actors and encouraging them to bring their personal experiences into their roles. Ray's creative influences included German Expressionist cinema and Italian Neorealism. From these styles, he adopted techniques such as location shooting and dramatic lighting to enhance the emotional impact of his films. To bring Rebel Without a Cause to life, Ray worked closely with his cast, including James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Sal Mineo. He encouraged improvisation during rehearsals, allowing the actors to develop their characters through natural interactions. This method resulted in authentic performances that resonated with audiences. The visual style of Rebel Without a Cause reflects Ray's interest in exploring the psychological states of his characters. He used wide-angle lenses and unconventional camera angles to convey the inner turmoil of Jim Stark, played by James Dean. These choices contributed to the film's iconic status and have influenced countless directors since its release. Rebel Without a Cause also showcases Ray's commitment to social commentary. By focusing on themes like teenage rebellion, delinquency, and generational conflict, he sparked conversations about pressing issues facing American society in the mid-1950s. Collaborating with cinematographer Ernest Holler, production designer Malcolm Burt, and costume designer Moss Mabry, Ray crafted a visually striking film that captured the attention of both critics and audiences alike. Their combined efforts resulted in a powerful exploration of disaffected youth that remains relevant today. The production of Rebel Without a Cause, released in 1955, took place amidst several logistical challenges and innovative solutions. The film's director, Nicholas Ray, insisted on authenticity, leading him to choose real locations over studio sets. One significant challenge was finding a high school that could represent the story's diverse settings, from classrooms to rooftops. After much scouting, the team selected Los Angeles' Downey High School, which offered various architectural styles and enough space for the crew to operate. However, filming during school hours posed problems. Scenes had to be carefully planned around classes, club activities, and sports events. Another notable location was the Griffith Observatory, where a crucial scene unfolds. To achieve the desired effect of teenagers taking over the planetarium, the crew had to work after closing time, meticulously setting up lighting and camera angles while avoiding damage to the historic site. Set designer Emile Corey faced the task of creating believable living spaces for the main characters. He chose modern yet relatable designs, filled with contemporary appliances like automatic dishwashers and televisions reflecting post-war American culture. This approach aimed to immerse viewers in the characters' worlds authentically. Rebel Without a Cause also pioneered some technological innovations. Cinematographer Ernest Holler used wide-angle lenses extensively, capturing more of each frame and emphasizing the actor's emotions. Additionally, the film featured extensive day-for-night shooting, allowing outdoor sequences to appear as if they were filmed at night, enhancing the moody atmosphere. Despite these advancements, traditional methods remained essential. For instance, matte paintings were still utilized to extend certain backgrounds seamlessly, especially when incorporating the iconic observatory into the narrative. Overall, Rebel Without a Cause's production showcases how thoughtful planning, clever problem-solving, and cutting-edge technology can bring a compelling vision to life on screen. Its impact resonates even today, standing testament to the power of cinematic artistry. Come on, give him a knife. Pick it up. I don't want any trouble. The musical score Offerbell Without a Cause, composed by Leonard Rosenman, plays a crucial role in conveying the film's emotional intensity. Before creating the score, Rosamund was mentored by famous composer Arnold Schoenberg, which influenced his unconventional approach to film scoring. Rosamund chose to abandon traditional Hollywood methods, opting instead for modernist classical techniques. This decision led him to create dissonant, 
and jarring melodies reflecting the inner turmoil experienced by the main character, Jim Stark, portrayed by James Dean. By utilizing complex chromatic harmonies and atonal elements, Rosamund effectively mirrored the youthful rebellion depicted on screen. The soundtrack also features notable pieces of classical music, including Plink, Plank, Plunk, 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 by Kurt Weil, which punctuates the iconic knife fight scene between Jim Stark and Buzz Gunderson. According to Rosamund, he selected this piece due to its strange quality that enhanced the surreal atmosphere of the confrontation. Leonard Bernstein, another influential figure during this era, praised Rosamund's work on Rebel Without a Cause. He commended the score for capturing the raw emotions of adolescent angst, stating it expressed what words could not. Furthermore, Bernstein recognized how Rosamund successfully conveyed the sense of alienation felt by young people growing up in post-war America through his innovative composition style. Interestingly, some critics initially panned the non-traditional score, but over time, opinions shifted, recognizing Rosamund's groundbreaking contribution to cinema music. Today, Rebel Without a Cause stands as a milestone in both American filmmaking and film scores, demonstrating the power of music to elevate storytelling while resonating emotionally with audiences worldwide. You kill you. You want to kill your own father. One of the most iconic scenes in Rebel Without a Cause is the knife fight scene. Director Nicholas Ray's innovative use of close-ups captures the tension and emotions of the characters. Actor Sal Mineo, who played Plato, recalled feeling scared but excited during the filming. Cinematographer Ernest Holler's dramatic lighting further accentuates the intensity, creating a sense of danger and unpredictability. This scene leaves a lasting impression on audiences, highlighting the turmoil and aggression underlying the facade of teenage rebellion. Another memorable moment occurs when Jim challenges Buzz to a chicken race, leading to tragic consequences. Here, the wide shots by Holler emphasize the desolate landscape, intensifying the feelings of isolation and despair experienced by the young characters. According to Alan, working with James Dean was inspiring because of his dedication to method acting. The poignant performances linger in viewers' minds, shedding light on the destructive consequences of toxic masculinity and peer pressure among youth. The climactic scene where Jim, Judy, and Plato hide in the Griffith Observatory Planetarium also resonates deeply. As the characters watch a sky full of stars while lying on the floor, they find solace and connection. Wood later described it as one of her favorite experiences during filming due to its dreamlike quality. Soft focus and low-key lighting create a serene atmosphere, contrasting sharply with earlier intense sequences. Through this powerful scene, Ray underscores the universal human need for understanding, compassion, and belonging. We'll ask your dad to come down and pick you up. Unless you really don't want to go home. Rebel Without a Cause, released in 1955, brought forth a powerful depiction of youth rebellion and angst. The film, starring James Dean, resonated deeply with audiences, particularly teenagers who found themselves grappling with identity issues during post-war America. Its raw portrayal of disillusionment and confusion struck a chord, making it a cult classic that transcended generations. The movie's influence permeated popular culture, leaving an indelible mark on fashion, music, and literature. For instance, the red jacket worn by James Dean became a symbol of youthful defiance and nonconformity, inspiring numerous recreations in later films and media. Moreover, the film's soundtrack, characterized by its melancholic tunes, echoed the emotional turmoil experienced by the main characters, further enhancing the narrative's relatability. On a thematic level, Rebel Without a Cause sparked conversations around societal expectations and family dynamics. It challenged traditional views on masculinity, revealing vulnerable protagonists struggling to meet society's rigid norms. Furthermore, the film critically examined dysfunctional families, highlighting their role in shaping troubled adolescents. These thought-provoking elements propelled the film into broader discourses, prompting introspection about prevailing cultural narratives. Despite being nearly seven decades old, Rebel Without a Cause remains pertinent today. Its exploration of societal pressures, familial relationships, and individual freedom continues to reverberate within contemporary societies. As such, the film serves as both a reflection of past cultural anxieties and a mirror for present-day concerns, underscoring the timeless nature of these human experiences. Upon its release in 1955, 
Rebel Without a Cause quickly garnered significant critical attention and audience reaction. The film stars James Dean, who posthumously earned an Academy Award nomination for his performance, bringing poignant depth to the character of Jim Stark. Noted critic Bosley Crowther of the New York Times praised the film's exploration of teenage angst, stating, the picture has a disturbingly realistic edge. He also commended Natalie Wood's portrayal of Judy, calling it extraordinary and intelligent. Rebel Without a Cause was further lauded when it received three nominations at the 28th Annual Academy Awards, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Director. Although none won Oscars, their recognition highlighted the film's powerful impact on audiences. Audiences connected deeply with the themes presented in Rebel Without a Cause. Its unforgettable depictions of youthful rebellion against societal expectations struck a chord with young viewers seeking understanding and validation. Simultaneously, parents were compelled by the storyline, which underscored the importance of communication between generations. These accolades elevated the profiles of all involved, solidifying their places within Hollywood history. Decades later, Rebel Without a Cause remains influential among both cinema enthusiasts and scholars alike due to its groundbreaking approach towards exploring adolescent turmoil and social disconnection. Where's Dawson High? At University in Tim. Oh, thanks. You wanna carry my... During the filming of Rebel Without a Cause, James Dean, who played the lead role, was known for his intense method acting. He often stayed in character even when the cameras weren't rolling. This once led to a tense situation when Dean got into a heated argument with Sal Mineo, who played Plato, over a game of pool. The argument became so intense that director Nicholas Ray had to intervene. Natalie Wood, who played Judy, was only 16 years old during the film's production. She developed a close bond with Dean, who became something of a mentor to her. However, their relationship wasn't without its complications. Dean was 13 years older than Wood which raised eyebrows among the cast and crew. Their chemistry on screen was undeniable, but off screen, they maintained a professional distance. The iconic switchblade knife fight scene between Dean and Corey Allen, who played Buzz, was almost cut from the film due to concerns over violence. But Dean argued that the scene was essential to the plot and convinced Ray to keep it. In preparation for the scene, both actors took fencing lessons to learn how to handle the knives safely. Despite these precautions, the scene was still fraught with danger. During one take, Dean accidentally sliced Alan's hand. Rebel Without a Cause was filmed on location at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. The observatory's administrators were initially hesitant to allow filming, fearing that the film would portray the facility in a negative light. However, they eventually relented after being assured that the film would highlight the importance of science education. To prepare for the scene set at the observatory, the cast members attended night classes to learn about astronomy. Despite the challenges faced during production, Rebel Without a Cause went on to become a cultural touchstone, cementing Dean's status as a Hollywood legend. Sadly, Dean never got to see the finished product. He died in a car crash just weeks before the film's release. His legacy lives on through his performances, including his unforgettable turn as Jim Stark in Rebel Without a Cause. Taurus, the bull, an extremely ancient mm -hmm. Rebel Without a Cause, released in 1955, holds a significant position in film history. This groundbreaking movie introduced James Dean, who became an icon of teenage disillusionment and rebellion. His untimely death shortly after the film's release added to his mystique and cemented his status as a cultural symbol. The film's innovative approach to exploring adolescent angst resonated deeply with audiences. Its raw portrayal of family dynamics, peer pressure, and delinquency was unprecedented, paving the way for future films to delve into these themes. Rebel Without a Cause had a profound impact on Hollywood. It ushered in a new era of youth-oriented movies, inspiring filmmakers like Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas. Characters with depth and complexity became more common, reflecting the complexities of real life. Subsequent works were significantly influenced by this film. For instance, American Graffiti and The Outsiders drew inspiration from its exploration of teenage restlessness and camaraderie. Even today, elements of Rebel Without a Cause can be seen in contemporary cinema, underscoring its timeless appeal and enduring influence. They can protect me by moving around all the time. You had a good start in the wrong direction. Did you know that Rebel Without a Cause turned 67 last year? This groundbreaking 1955 film still leaves a lasting impression on many. 
We'd love to hear about your personal connections. How did this movie influence your view of cinema? Perhaps it inspired you to explore deeper themes in films or admire James Dean's compelling portrayal of rebellious youth. Share your favorite scene or character. We can't get enough of Natalie Wood's performance either. The story might have even sparked some memories from your teen years. What parallels do you see between the film's depiction of adolescent struggles and today's society? How has the concept of rebel evolved over time? By engaging with us, liking our content, sharing your stories, and spreading the word. Together, we create a thriving community passionate about exploring timeless classics like these. So, don't hesitate. Join the conversation now. Let's celebrate iconic movies while learning from each other's perspectives. Makes you think he hates you, Judy. I don't think I know.